Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kit Cree, aka Kit, and today I'm going to be going over 12 tips to help improve your custom shirts in Rec Room. Now, this is kind of piggybacking off of my last video in which I kind of gave you a method on how to make some really cool shirts, so if you want to check that out, go ahead. But I just thought you guys could use some more tips. Now, this doesn't have to do anything with printing, so if you're a printer, this has no benefit to you. But if you like to draw, here are some tips on how to actually improve your work. Let's get started. So for the first tip, I would really recommend that you use these types of markers instead of the actual ones on the board. The ones on the board, they work fine, obviously, but in my opinion, these work 10 times better. Plus, you can um, change the color, like... From the back you can have a bunch of different shades and you don't have to just stick with the limited options that they give you so obviously yeah you can use those but i really recommend these and you can also use the um what's it called the eraser type of this marker for detailed erasings rather than the one that's on the board for the second tip this was actually implemented in a recent update which i would heavily recommend that you use it's scaling the board now if you scale the board higher as you can see in this you can draw a lot more detailed images rather than having to stick with one thing because for example if you scale down a marker it's still not gonna work as small as a small marker you have to actually scale up the board in general so make sure to make use of scaling the board or you can make it smaller i don't really know what you'd use that for but yes definitely make use of scaling the board because it makes things look 10 times better so for the third tip i feel like not enough people use this but you can always place down a marker and then move it up and down this will leave you with completely straight lines or you can do it sideways make use of that you can do like different like grid types you can you can also do it with like an eraser if you need to erase like a straight line completely but use use that because it works very good it, i love it for the fourth tip it's kind of obvious but you know when you're in the middle of drawing you want to make sure that you're saving your progress especially if you're happy with what you're drawing because otherwise something can get messed up and all your work will be completely gone so just make sure to save that um otherwise you will regret it because some i swear something will get messed up something for the fifth tip always please please make sure that your artwork is centered there is a grid on the board for a reason okay you want to make sure that your artwork is following that grid and being even on both sides just because me personally i wouldn't buy a shirt even if it looked really good if it was like off centered because i don't know that make me mad maybe it's different for other people but please make sure your artwork is centered guys now the sixth tip is more of a respect thing you want to make sure that you're giving credit to the original artist in your description for example if you didn't draw the shirt make sure to give credits or if you got inspiration from something but you completely copied it obviously give credits because you're you're stealing that artwork regardless of if you're the one making it or not so yeah always make sure to give credits for the seventh tip this one isn't actually necessary but if you want to make sure that your shirts are looking 100 percent clean and everything change the background color of your shirt to see if there's any missed spots and where you accidentally didn't draw something because if there's certain areas that you can't really see but aren't drawn, once you actually equip that shirt, it's gonna be obvious. So just make sure that you're changing the background color of your shirt just so you can actually tell if there's like splotches or not that you need to fill in. For the eighth tip in custom shirt making is to make sure that you actually have a kind of plan before you start drawing if you're just gonna kind of like wing it i mean some people are good at that and props to you guys but me personally and for a lot of other people you need an idea you need to know what you're doing so just make sure that you have like something drawn out or a very vivid idea in your mind of what you want to make and that way it'll just end up better because you're less i don't know indecisive while you're drawing it so it'll turn out better in the end just trust me on this Okay, for the ninth tip, I cannot stress this enough. Do not post things that are inappropriate. This counts as slurs, nudity, anything regarding against the code of conduct. You will get banned within five seconds, okay? I've, <laughs> I've seen people, I've, I've watched this happen where people will, like, post something. I think you can save it private. I'm not 100% sure on that, but make sure, do not wear it in public lobbies. You do not want to risk your account just because of a custom shirt, if that make sense don't you will get banned so quick i swear do not post anything that is inappropriate for the ninth tip is if you want the sides to be a different color than the actual front of the shirt 
I don't recommend using a marker because obviously that's going to take a very long time. So you can use paint brushes too on the actual um, shirt board. So make use of that. You can just, you know, fill it in super easy. I've tried to fill in shirts not realizing that you can use paint brushes and it takes like a long time. So yeah, just so you know, you can use paint brushes. For the 11th tip, I feel like a lot of artists already know this, but this is for people that are kind of new to actually drawing or making custom shirts in general, but it's to start with your base colors first. Now, for example, if I'm drawing something in black and then I fill it in, it's going to look kind of goofy just because the black outline is going to be messed up a little bit. Now, if you draw the base colors first and then outline it in black, it's going to look a lot smoother because it's outlined rather than, you know, colored in. And you can definitely tell a difference when it comes to this, so please make sure to do that. Um, figure out proportions. You got it. We believe in you. And for the twelfth and final tip is to just take your time. You know, a custom shirt isn't supposed to be done within five minutes. You could, I mean, it can be, <laughs> but overall, you want to take your time on a shirt if you actually want it to look good or if you want to make profits off of it. So yeah it's pretty simple just take your time that's really it i really hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know if you want more content related to custom shirts in the future because i know i'm more of a building account but i am more than willing to branch out into different aspects of rec room because i love this game as a whole i'll probably be working on some shorts soon even hopefully if i ever get to that so yeah i hope you guys um you know didn't know some of these tips so at least you learned something and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!